Hey Pisces, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back with another video for you guys today and today I'm doing you guys the lies they tell and the secrets they keep for the second half of May 2020 and if you guys haven't already tuned in to one of the segments of the lies they tell and the secrets they keep this is a reading to gauge the energy in your surrounding space, whether it be friends, colleagues, co colleagues and co-workers are the same thing. Friends, colleagues, you know, neighbors, fake friends, um, toxic family members, whatever, but whoever is around you that is in deceptive energy or the energy of secrecy here, or that just has intentions outside of the ones that they reveal to you, okay? So we just meant to kind of gauge and expose that energy that way you can filter it out of your life and keep on moving, honey, okay? If you guys haven't already subscribed to the tribe, what are you guys waiting for? The, the subscribe button is right there or there. I don't know which side, but hit it and that post notification bell so you can be notified every single time I post another video or go live. Give this video a big fat thumbs up and leave your thoughts and opinions down below. Time and energy is fluid, guys, so just keep in mind that, yes, this can definitely be something that happened in the recent past. It could be going on right now, or it could happen in the near future. So take it as it resonates, and definitely, definitely leave what doesn't. If it ain't for you, it's really no need to state that. You could just click off and go find a video that is for you. Or you could check out your moon rising in Venus in my series to see if either of those will or any of those will resonate with you, okay? All right, guys, so I'm eager to hop right in. This is definitely my favorite reading to do and it's definitely your favorite reading to watch. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> so you guys missed someone. I'm definitely getting shallow grave here. All right, so this could definitely be you holding on to a relationship that you need to be transitioning out of. Okay. You know, stop holding on to dead weight, so to speak, here. All right. Shallow grave, you miss someone. And then the angel of alchemy, miracle. And so, like I said, um, you guys could be holding on to something that's, that is like basically a part of the old you, you know? And I'm getting that here. It's time for you to make, make decisions that are aligned with your new self, your new path, you know, higher dimensions. Because right now you're in manifestation mode and you're receiving miracles. But the thing is, is that if you re-engage yourself with old energies that kept you stagnant, you can move back into that stagnancy here. So there's a sense of you needing to let go of the energy. This could be an old relationship, an old friend. You know, somebody that you liked and wanted to move forward with romantically, but maybe it didn't work out. But whatever the case is, you need to let go because it's dead and gone. And also, whenever I see a skeleton, I also think of people depleting you. So this could have been somebody that's a taker. This could be somebody that's back simply because you're manifesting miracles in your life. And they want to be a part of that because this looks like the type of person that needs a source of supply or energy from you they need something from you so this person could be coming back because it does she doesn't look all that comfortable i don't think you necessarily went back to this person but i do feel like this person continues to resurface for you they leave you when you don't have anything but they come back once you um re-strengthen yourself and start to manifest greatness into your life so let's see why the shallow, shallow grave is here for pisces for the lies they tell and the secrets they keep for the last half of May 2020 spirit. Why is the shallow grave here for Pisces? Listen, you got y'all dreams are coming true here. You are receiving all types of manifestations from the universe. Are you getting ready to? Um, you are definitely taking advantage of transits, moon cycles, you know, just death uh portals where you can actually invoke your own energy to move in, but here comes somebody stuck in the past, all right? Here comes somebody from your past that brought a lot of negativity and drama to you. Um, when I see the Six of Cups in reverse, that's like thinking back to the past and what you can remember about this person is the way they felt made you feel in a negative. 
Hey Pisces, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back with another video for you guys today and today I'm doing you guys the lies they tell and the secrets they keep series and if you guys haven't already tuned into this segment then I'll tell you right now this reading is to gauge the energy with your surrounding space and who is around you whether it's friends, colleagues, you know fellow students, neighbors, fake friends, <laughs> toxic family members, you name it. It all comes up here. Okay. So, um, I already started to pull for you guys, but I was going on and on. Didn't even realize that the tape stopped. So I took that as a sign to just go ahead and start over. But I will tell you that in the other spread, it definitely looks like Somebody from your past was trying to come back because you're coming into abundance right now. You're receiving a lot of blessings and miracles. And so this person looks very depleted and lacking. They could be lacking financially. They could be lacking with their health. Their health can be declining. And I see that they cause a lot of problems in your past. So this person can be um, facing a karma for doing that. And you don't want to interfere. I'm going to tell you that right now. So that's the reason why I felt the need to at least say what I put out. But let's see what comes out for this group of Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, the lies they tell and the secrets they keep. Which at the end of the world, an important end and a new beginning. All right? So y'all already know what that means. That yes, it is something that's coming to an end. But it's with the intentions to make room for new things that's meant to be in your life at this time. That's actually aligned with your higher self or, your, you know, this new journey that you're on. But yeah, with the world, the witch at the end of the world, that's like the world card. Time has run out when it's come to a certain thing. I feel like a portal has closed or basically an opportunity, uh, a window of opportunity has closed. Meal do theory, time to clean up. <laughs> All right, both of this is green energy. So you guys could definitely be around people that are closed off to you emotionally or heart chakras are closed off or they have affected you in such a way that you actually closed off your um, heart chakra to others. And at the bottom of the deck, I'm getting the dress of alchemy, release your power. So this is definitely you stepping into your own and manifesting like I said. Okay, so why is the witch at the end of the world here? For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wow. Yeah, you've been playing seeds. I keep getting the Six of Cups in reverse. That's something that happened in the last one. So I'm getting the Six, the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups in reverse, and the Six of Pentacles. So there's a sense of, I mean, the Six of Cups in reverse. Wow. Why can't I even talk right? Okay, so what I'm definitely getting is that somebody that you invested a lot into, they definitely had you all confused. And in your head, you're no longer confused about this person. I feel like you guys have developed a lot of negative memories with each other here. Um, there's definitely some discord because whenever I see the Six of Cups in reverse, that's like a soulmate union gone bad here. All right, so this person left a bad taste in your mouth, and I feel like you are no longer confused. Um, so this is the reason why you could be closing a window of opportunity to be with this person. Maybe you said to yourself, if I don't see a significant change by this date or by this time, then I'm going to let go. And you know what? I feel as though this person feels like you'll always be there because you're constantly planting seeds with this person, no matter how little bit they give or not at all because every six every cup of i mean every card of cups is in reverse so that just speaks to the lack of emotion that this person is bringing to the situation with you but yet you hold it so near and dear to your heart you know maybe you have some so solar plexus and some heart chakra work to actually do because it looks as though you have to develop um not only the consciousness, but also develop the, the confidence to leave this situation alone. The six of swords. So I'm already getting six, six, but I also have seven, seven. You decided to move on to karma waters. 
because you searching for your 10 of cups here. So that's the reason why the witch at the end of the world is here because you at the end of a situation, you at the completion, you know, you wanted something that was going to make you happy. You want something that's emotionally fulfilling. And unfortunately, the only thing that this brought you was a, a lot of unhappy memories and a lot of confusion that you're choosing to no longer deal with. And so now you're moving on to calmer waters because you actually got the message now. When I see birds, I just think of messengers. And I feel like this is something that you've been trying to do for a long time. Also, root chakra energy. Just go ahead and clear your whole system, Pisces. Because it looks like you got a lot of chakras that's misaligned. And it definitely could be because you've been dealing with such a tumultuous, um, toxic situation. Why is the mildew fairy here? Time to clean up. Because spirit wants you to get this out your life. Just like you have to spring clean when it comes down to your home. Um, when, the, when the weather changes, it's time. When a cycle is closed, it's time for you to clear that person out of your space, out of your energy, out of your your, your energy field, out of your psyche. You know, shoot, clear, clear them out of your yoni, all of that. Like, take a spiritual bath, death and rebirth. And that's exactly what you're doing. You don't even know who I am no more. That's, that was the old body. This is the new me. X who? King of Cubs. This is somebody that's definitely emotionally manipulative. And it's time for you to clear this person out your space. That's why the death card is here. That's why the world card is here. This person is the person that you wanted this emotional fulfillment from. But as you can see, he's in a reverse. Which means any cup that you fill with love is getting poured straight to the ground. Why is the mildew fairy here for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. The sun card. The king of swords in reverse. Dealing with a narcissist. Somebody that's emotionally and mentally manipulative. One more. The mildew fairy. This can be, even though this is masculine energy, then take it how it resonates. Because it definitely can be the masculine that's experiencing this emotional manipulation. And you walking away from that now. You making that decision. You cleaning up. You realizing what's poisonous to your life now. This was something that you really anticipated have it, having a solid beginning with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like they kept putting it off and putting it off. But you freeing yourself from this situation. And you experiencing a lot of liberation because of it here. And at the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups in reverse. This situation just didn't go your way. And now I feel like you're really, you willing to face it. Like, yeah, I see a lot of unhappy cards. But listen, you walking away from those unhappy things into happiness. You Look how dismal this looks compared to your new timeline. The new energy that you're getting ready to walk into. Okay, so let's clarify some of this stuff. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Oh. Privileged lady in reverse. So for you masculine, you definitely were investing in somebody that didn't appreciate you. Maybe overspent your money, spent your money in the wrong way. Somebody wasn't over an ex here. Somebody definitely wasn't over an ex. It could be pregnancy here with the ex. Somebody here has mother issues. So, okay, for this masculine that's here, that's in this King of Cups energy in reverse and King of Swords energy in reverse, I definitely feel like they pick lovers that have a very maternal energy simply because they have mother issues. This person can date a lot of older women. As well as try to keep people bound by materialism, gifts. You know, they, they use that as a pawn to keep people holding on here is what I'm saying. 
<clears throat> oh man, what was that? The house. Yeah, so you moving out and you moving away here. You making a decision that's beneficial for you. You could have found out that this person was investing in somebody else. If they have like a child's mom or um, if they got somebody pregnant behind your back and you found out about it, you could be moving on from that. Trying to give somebody money outside of you, you moving on from this person. Why is the Six of Cups and the Lovers here? Because I want to see what this is. Yeah, somebody that they cut off from their past. Someone that they cut off from their past, they're allowing to come back. And it's this privileged lady. I feel like they giving money to them while they with you. They could actually be taking money from you and giving it to them. Or telling you, like, taking money for bills or saying, you know, I need you to pay half on the bills now. Especially if you never paid bills before and now all of a sudden... They need money from you and they're giving it to somebody else. Yeah, you wanted a Ten of Cups situation, but all you got was mental abuse. Even for some of you, physical abuse. Some of you could be facing like health issues from the stress that this situation caused. All the while having to keep up appearances for outside people for this person because remember they like to create a lot of illusions oh no that came out in the last deck oh it's here too ain't it or no y'all seven of cups and you over those illusions you see things for what they really are now here's you jumping timelines to your new one why is the death card here death and rebirth why is the death and rebirth here for Pisces. Why is death and rebirth here for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the lies they tell and the secrets they keep. Deep. You done. You putting the end to somebody that's a straight up taker. Like I said, they definitely could have been robbing Peter to pay Paul. So they came off as like some type of person that, that wines and dines, but they ain't got the money to really do that with you and somebody else. So they could have pulled back from you financially or even started to ask for help financially from you when any other time they insisted on taking care of things financially. Even if they, they didn't ask you for things, you just noticing that money is coming from the household or money that's supposed to go into the household is not coming into the household. So this is a situation where if like somebody says, hey, babe, I'm I'm a little short this month. Can you pay the light bill? But then you get a dang on shut off notice and you just find a receipts to Benny Hanna's like, OK, is this where my money went? Why is the king of cups in reverse? And that's the thing. I feel like with this person, how they affect you. And how they try to keep you stuck in the old timeline is by coming back. Like every time you release them, they try to bridge the gap. Every time they feel you try to free yourself from their energy, free yourself from the heaviness or just how they weigh you down, then they come back. Why is the King of Swords here in reverse? Expectations in reverse. And then they project energy off into you as if you're not good enough. Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Eight of Cups is in reverse. <clears throat> okay, so you you basically walking away from a situation that kept you feeling financially depleted. Maybe you felt like you couldn't manifest in a situation. And that's the thing. When you're surrounded by people that... Um, are causing you a lot of emotional and psychological distress, it will mess with your money. And now you walking away from that because you want growth for yourself. You want to elevate. You want to go to the next level. You don't want to be stuck. You know, you don't want to be stuck in lack. Why is the sun card here? Wow. Why is the sun card here? The high honor. 
doing the right thing for yourself was the best thing that you could have ever did. And doing the right thing is walking away from this person for yourself. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here in reverse? Yeah. And I feel like this was something, number one, you didn't tell them you was leaving, but you just felt that divine timing was at play here. Um, you could have definitely been getting nudges from your ancestors. For some of you, just flat out like your matriarch system. I see the polar bear is like motherly energy. Um, so it definitely could have been your mom, grandma. But I feel like somebody's encouragement was the last thing that you needed. Like, I mean, the final thing that you needed to get the, to get the courage to leave a situation. And I feel like you did it abruptly and you did it very impulsively. I feel like this person really didn't have a heads up that you were leaving or they would have deemed it as no, no heads up. But I feel like multiple chances was given in this situation here. All right. So we're going to find out what the outcome is of this situation. And then that's y'all reading Pisces. That's pretty good. I kept it under 20 minutes this time. Alrighty, guys, let's find out what's going to be the income, when, I mean, the outcome when it comes to the situation, the income. <sighs> what is going to be the outcome for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Pisces, Spirit. Boundaries. Yeah, you setting boundaries from now on, Pisces. I feel like you're going into isolation for just a little while, which we already kind of are in. But I feel like if this happened before this whole quarantine, you already was in isolation. Right now, I feel like you just want to be to yourself and kind of assess the situation. And you want to set boundaries moving forward here. Patience. And so you exuded a lot of patience when it came down to, uh, excuse me, a new cycle. Moving forward, having more abundance and just getting what it is that you deserve. And now I feel like that time has come. And that's the reason why you have to clear out your space in order to receive. Because you can't receive when you hold on to negative things. And in fact, spirit will make sure that certain things are not granted to us while we're around certain people that we're not supposed to experience abundance with. So... Like I said, you guys at, are at a level of growth. Like nobody can convince you anymore. When you know something is bad, you know it's bad and you move accordingly. So I hope that helped you, my beautiful Pisces. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. And I'll check you guys out on the next one.